documentary, they mentioned a uh, plant-based diet. What's the difference between a plant-based diet and a whole plant-based diet? And then what are other alternatives for the resources of getting calcium and protein in your diet that are plant-based? Well, what I've been doing is uh, I've researched. Uh, if it, when it comes to me and it comes to uh, something that has to do with food, because food to me is like everything. It's, it's sexy, it's sweet, it's, it's just good. Um, so protein, I get my protein from quinoa. Most people don't even know what quinoa is. You know, Quinoa is great. You know, I even make quinoa pancakes. Um, it's, you just have to research it. I mean, most people don't even research the meat they get. But you, if you want to live right, you have to research it. Uh, as far as the whole, the whole food, whole plant. I understood your question because in the movie they kept saying a plant-based diet, but then they kept saying a whole foods plant-based diet. There are lots of products out there that are plant-based, but also contain a lot of preservatives, like. Um, Cookies are plant-based, but they have tons of sugar and preservatives in them, and also dairy and stuff. But basically, they're saying preservative-free, or with whole food ingredients being meaning whole fruits and vegetables and grains, and not a lot of sugar and preservatives. Yeah, one thing I would add to that is, uh, you know, eat real food, and, and that's your barometer, you know? Uh, also, live nutrition. You know, I, one of the, my favorite places to stop on a healthy eating tour is right beside the dark leafy greens, not just because they're nutritional powerhouses, but you take, ever take a look at a collard leaf? There is a life force coursing through that leaf. I want some of that. You know what I mean? And, and, and really, as alive as the food is that you're eating, uh, as often as you can, you know, eat raw food. All of us require or desire a certain amount of warm or cooling food, and that's all very personalized. But, you know, experiment with that instead of labeling and ab getting absolute about who I am from an eating perspective. Just lean into whole plant foods. Eat more plants, like Michael Pollan said. Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. What are the questions that, why would you have an opportunity? Okay, sorry, just to follow up then. Um, what, there's an ongoing debate about the sugar. So stevia, nectivia, whatever, trivia, all those. You know, what do you say? Is it better just have the real sugar and less of it, or do the trivia and stevia and things like that as replacements? Because I know agave is out there, and Splenda gives some people headaches. So it's like, you know, the. Okay, for me, uh, trivia, nubia, stevia. I don't touch the stuff. Nutrisweet, none of that. Never touch it. It's, it's a process. It's, it's, it's all chemical. Um, actually, I work in a hospital, so we can't even use Splenda because the way it's processed with chlorine. So you, we, we can't touch it. Um, as far as real sugar, uh, I can do demerara sugar, you know, dark sugar. Um, that's what I use. I barely use sugar. I'm not really, I don't have a sweet tooth, so. Um, and what was the other, other part? Was that just about all those. You mentioned agave nectar. That I don't know how many people know about agave nectar, but it's very similar to honey. It comes from the agave plant, and it is one of the best things about it is um, it doesn't raise your blood sugar like um, regular, like honey would. Um, it keeps you very um, balanced throughout the day, so you're not. It's not going to spike your blood sugar and then drop it down. So for me, agave nectar, like when I eat it on vegan pan, when I have vegan pancakes, I put agave nectar on it. That's my favorite sweetener. I, I kind of, you know, refer back to what I'm working with, with Health Starts here, which is using as much as possible fresh fruit, dried fruit, fruit concentrate, fruit, 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 whole plants. It, it really comes back to that. These other things are all sugar. They suppress the metabolism. They give us cravings. They toy with our mood, with our mental clarity. So it depends what your goals are. And, you know, maybe a drizzle of, of an agave or a local honey um, will keep you moving along um, comfortably. But sometimes experiment in, in just using the whole plant more often than not. Um. I would also like to tell you guys, like, you might be thinking right now, well, it's great if I can cook for myself at home, but what about my favorite restaurants? Can I even go out to eat anymore? Where can I go out to eat? 
Well, there's actually um, so many restaurants that you can get whole, great whole foods at. One of them is called Andy's. I don't know if you've ever heard of Andy's Pure Foods and Rye. They also just opened uh, one in Scarsdale, and they're opening one in Larchmont as well. It's a completely whole foods, almost raw foods restaurant. Absolutely fantastic, reasonably priced. You should check it out. Um, also, people ask me all the time, you know, what do you eat all day long as a vegan? You know, and they think I, I can't go to regular restaurants.